This is the 4K 48 megapixel digital camera. This is sent to me for evaluation purposes, but all opinions are my own. This camera is pretty much everything you would want in a simplistic, easy to use, multi-feature digital camera. You get a nice box that comes in. You get a charging cable, a charging block. You get two batteries that come with it. You get a two battery charger. You get a little wrist strap that you can tie on here, either side. You get a screwdriver so you can take off these four screws and put on these different covers if you want. You obviously you get a user's manual. It's pretty detailed. It's got a lot of stuff in here. What I like about this camera is not only is it easy to use, but it's a rechargeable device. On the bottom here, it's got a little TF mini SD card reader and it's upgradable to 128 gigs. On the bottom here is a little flap opens up and this is where you put your battery in. You know, we've got one battery in there, one battery charge ready to go because it comes with two batteries. You've got a little screw mount on the bottom if you want to screw this to a tripod. You've got a decent sized screen on here. I've still got the plastic on here. You have an auxiliary mic input and you also have a type C connector that goes along with the type C charging cable that you got. You can plug this in, download stuff right to your computer if you want or charge it that way. On the front here, you can see the 18 times digital zoom lens and we have the rolling wheel zoom, zoom in or out right here. All right, when you wanna turn this on, you just press the power button here on the top, machine powers up to, I have everything set on auto right now. So you've got a bunch of modes in here. You can change the mode if you want to press the mode button. It changes it from camera to video mode. Press it again. If you had any files, any pictures taken, any videos taken, they would exist here. And you could press play and watch them or scroll through them using the arrow keys. If you go into the mode settings, you've got arrow left and right and arrow up and down here. Very first thing you want to do is format the memory card. Right now I'm in camera mode. So let's go into the settings for this real quick. You can see you can change your image resolution all the way up to 48 megapixels if you want. Change your scenes, your image quality, your self timer. You can turn the anti-shake on or off. You can select face detection. Use burst. The white balance can change. Your sharpness, your exposure, your ISO, your metering. You can turn the flash on or off. I've got it on suppressed flash for some reason. Let's put it on auto flash. I'll hit OK. Language settings. You can turn the date timestamp on or off. I've got it off right now. And you can turn it into silent mode if you want. I have it in silent mode because if you turn that off, it makes this noise. You can set it to power itself off at one, three, or five minutes or disable it all together. You can change the frequency, US or otherwise. And we're back to the beginning again. On the top here, you can see we've got a hot shoe mount. We have the power button. And this is a wheel that changes the filters on here, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is how you take the picture or record video. You press this button. And you can see as I turn the wheel, the different filter settings we can get on here, which is kind of neat. Look at that. So all kinds of cool options on here. Pretty awesome. On the front here, I want to show you too, we've got the zoom wheel. So you just roll that to the left or the right and you can see it zooms in. Easy enough. Another feature they have on here too is the Wi-Fi feature. You can actually hook this up to your cell phone. Now it's not Wi-Fi to connect to a network. It actually connects between this camera and a cell phone. You just scan that code right there and it takes it to the iOS or the Android app and allows you to control some features of the camera using your phone. There you go, the 4K Ultra HD digital camera.